What's going on Wolf Gang? You guys wanted a guide to Mei, how to Mei, and it is here. Now there's a lot I have to say about Mei. One, she is definitely B tier in my opinion just because her damage output is extremely low, but she is a good technical character and has great loops. Mei is probably one of the first characters I can constantly play with and not dash cancel one bit. So let's go ahead and dive into Mei's kit. So we're going to start off with her target combo. Now I will be talking through PlayStation Reference, but I will lead the other system buttons in the description below so may i was about to say square may's target combo of course is two squares right so one and boom so the second square knocks you up into the air and there's plenty of stuff you can do after that and i will get into that later now may's target combo in the air is the same thing but it's only two hits there's also a lot of stuff you can do with that as well may's armor move of course analog with the square I will get into what you can do with that as well, and of course her aerial armor move as well, which also can lead into a wall splat. May's red move is pretty safe depending on how you do it. It's very short range as well, where she lands a bomb and explodes, but it pushes her back. You can lead into her air combo as well. But if you if you um, tap square immediately, it doesn't work. You have to wait for May to launch up into the air, then do it. May's quirk one, of course, you guys, is triangle, which is the freeze, FBI. May's quirk two, that's not a quirk two, Draco. May's quirk two, of course, is the twirl twirl. We can call it the twirly twirl. Now, with this, you can actually tap X, and the lead turn into the air. She can actually jump while doing this. And, of course, it leads her dizzy at the end. May's tilt quirk two, aka analog tilt circle course is a bomb that may throws of course the donkey kong bomb now this is two different variations if you hold the quirk she lobs up into the air but if you just tap it she just throws it towards you you can throw this in different angles of course depending on where you guess your opponent is going but if you get close up to your opponent and you hold it it leads your opponent to grab it and of course it allows you to combo afterwards may throw it. there you go and boom so there you go guys, let's talk about Maze Plus Ultra 1, the tracking bomb. Now the one thing I do not like about this Plus Ultra 1 is there is no confirm to it. As you guys know, most of the characters can confirm their combos into their Plus Ultra 1. May is one of those characters where she cannot do that. Only because her target combo starts off with her flying and she can't do anything afterwards. The only confirm that she has is you trap them. And then a plus ultra one. I know it's the same thing for her plus ultra two as well. It's very sad. Unless you get a wall splat, support, or trap them, that's the only way you're gonna confirm it. Mage plus ultra two. Smack. All right, Deku, we're gonna put this right back on you, baby. Uh, and a lot of people ask me why I don't play ones just as two in English, and I just I, I don't complain about the English. I just prefer Japanese voices, in my opinion. Like, May's Japanese sub is, like, amazing. Oh, my God. I love May's Japanese voice. Also, May's Plus Ultra 2 also does not do as much damage as it should. If I'm not mistaken, I think it does just does 10k. Yeah, it just does 10k. Low damage. Low damage. But, again, she's a technical character. So, now that we got that out of the way, guys, I'm going to teach you how to play with May. So, of course, I missed out on one thing, her tilt cork one, the maneuver gear. Now, there's two different things you can do with this maneuver gear. If you tap the cork button again, you bring your opponent towards you. But, if you tap the movement button, you move towards your opponent. So, you have cork button again, and then you have movement button. Definitely going to show you guys what you can do with that. So now with that being said, guys, let's teach you some meterless combos. Because I know a lot of people love to dash and, you know, do all this. I want to recommend it. May is definitely a character that does not need dash canceling. So a bread and butter combo that you can do with May is easily her target combo into her trap. One, two, three. Trap. One, two, three. Tilt cork one. Again. Trap. Boom. So, of course, that's how it looks. I'll do it again for you guys. So, you got the square. Quark one. 
twerk. Tilt, boom, boom, trap. And there you go. No dash canceling whatsoever. Another combo that you can do with Mei is, you guys remember, I said you can actually have your opponent hold on to the bomb and you can combo afterwards. So you can start off with Mei's target combo, but before the third hit connects, you want to cancel it with a tilt cork too. You don't have to dash cancel with anything. As soon as that second hit hit, boom. And then you can combo afterwards again. You can do this twice, by the way. So boom. Boom. Boom, boom. And there you go, right there. Same combo you did earlier, just add bombs to it. Now I'm going to show you guys the interesting thing about maneuver gear that May has that does not require dash canceling at the slightest. So what you want to do is, say you knock your opponent into the air, right? And you do boom. If you bring them towards you, boom, boom. All you have to do is just quickly hit the dash button and then do your combo again. And it counts as a confirm. It does not count as made dash canceling and that's the interesting thing about her. And you can do this a lot of times as well. So we got tilt cork one. As you can see, towards them. And just keep doing that so it doesn't do much damage but you can continuously do this. As you can see. And you can just you just keep going, keep going. Now, you it's weird timing because sometimes you have to move your analog a little bit and dash after you bring them towards them. But if you do it correctly, you can just continue mini dashing and it just keeps going. She has the worst meteor effects. Jesus Christ. So yeah guys, um, another mini combo that everybody has with Mei, this is definitely one of her bread and butters. This combo is really hard to do. Not really hard, but you guys know what you have to do with this. So, like I said earlier, target combo, right? You can either do the trap or the tilt cork one. I prefer the tilt cork one. And what you want to do is, if you press the cork button again, it brings your opponent towards you and you have to wait to Mei land to do the, her armor move. Boom. And then you do that. And then you go, you got a little combo right there. And do what I told you earlier, and then boom, you got yourself a combo right there. So it definitely takes some timing to do. You have to wait to Maze D hit the ground. And boom, there you go. You can either do the trap, or you can do the trap as soon as you bring your opponent towards you. So as soon as you go near him, trap. Dash towards him. Armor move, wall splat, level 1 or plus ultra 2, whichever you want to do. Because if you do the any move, other any move, it's going to count as a meter effect. So there you go, 13 damage, no dash canceling whatsoever, wall splat confirm, only with wall splat maps, and there you go guys. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to figure out how to do some combos. I'm going to do a few combos with May. Like I said, I left the inputs in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the guide, please let me know in the comment section below how you feel about May and do you like her. That being said, Wolf Gang, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the combo video. Stop
Yeah, yeah. 